Hey, welcome back to my channel. This is a video on Ibis Paint, the new version, version 6.0. A lot of things have changed, and here's just a quick tutorial video on how to use all the new features. Right off the bat, you can see that the home screen has gotten a makeover. I personally like the old version better with the clouds, I thought that was very pretty, but this looks more modern, as does the gallery. In case you were wondering, this is not a new app, not a new version of Ibis Paint, this is just a new update. As you can see, it's much easier to tap into photos and just swipe to get away. Also, watching a time-lapse version of your art is much easier, more user-friendly, and quicker to find. Alright, let's make a new art and I will show you all of these new super useful features that this app has came out with. So one of the coolest things is there has been tons of new brushes added. So many new fun things and so many more things that would be super helpful to use. Like this brush, I don't know what you could do with it, but at least it really looks cool. And there's tons of other ones that have really helpful uses like um, grid. This could be good for making um, like a sort of mosaic types of things or um, fake old fashioned video game type things. And um, there's different flowers and other just things that are like trippy and cool. Like that'd be great to put on a t-shirt that you make or just whatever you want to do. It's so fun to play around with. One of my favorite things that the app has added is custom brushes. So this is helpful when there's a brush that you really love, but it's hard to find. You can hit the plus button and add it to your custom. And right here you can see the history of brushes you've used and also the ones that you have saved because you like to use them a lot. By clicking on the arrow that points to the right, you can change the specific things regarding each brushes. Each brush may have different things you can change, like this one, it's very much about just coloring. But if I go back to one of the more original basic brushes, I can change um, like the tips and the thicknesses and the opacities, and that's very helpful for creating a very unique style. On to the next new feature. So you can find this new feature in the stability tab, and down here you can see we have drawing tools. For a while it was just a square and the straight line, but now we have circles and polygons that you can change the sides of them, and that's pretty cool. Like, it's pretty hard on a phone or a tablet to draw something like that so perfectly, but now we have perfect little tools that create exactly what you want. There's also an edit to the bucket tool, which is very nice. See right there, there's a gap in the shape. Usually when you go to bucket tool, if you tap on the shape, it will overflow. But now we have a gap recognition. When I turn this on, when I fill it, it doesn't overflow, which is very helpful when I am drying something and I fill a bucket. And sometimes it's very hard to tell where the hole is that's not allowing me to fill in the shape all the way. So with this feature, it's great. It's going to be so much easier to fill in big art. We also have this new curve tool, which will make it very helpful for creating nice, seamless curves. Learning this tool might be a little bit difficult, just how to properly maneuver it, but when you get this right, it can be very helpful because now you have a perfect, seamless, long curve with no breaks in it or it's not choppy at all, it's very smooth and steady. Another version of this tool, it just doesn't have curves, it's straight choppy lines, so that could also be helpful too. The next feature might not seem like a big deal to you guys, but I totally wish it would have been there a few years ago when I tried to make an animatic. Um, right here you can save 
your um, picture without even going back to your gallery. So you can quickly save it. That's great, like it's super helpful, saves a lot of time. But right now, I'm just gonna go straight back to my gallery. To show a few of these new features, I'm gonna go into a piece of art that I've already made. Right here, I'm gonna go to the Layers tab, and I'm gonna go up to the top, and right here, I'm gonna add a layer from Canvas. What this does is it creates the entire canvas, just puts them all together so they're not separate layers, just as one big layer. And then I'm gonna go to filters. We have some new filters. First of all, a different layout, which is cool because you can see exactly what it's gonna look like. It's just more organized and easier to pick things. I know right now I'm showing things that have already been there, but there are new filters that you can use. And so that's gonna be very helpful for creating like better art and just Changing it up, making it pretty, making your art stand out. Right now I'm just messing around with some of the filters, show you some of the stuff you can do. I especially like this filter, this is pretty cool, I'm definitely going to end up using it. Just things like this that are really unique and pretty and adds an extra flair to your art. I know I'm featuring my art in this, but you could totally use this app to edit your own photos and selfies. A lot of these filters I'm using in this app for free are um, filters that you have to pay for in different um, photo editing apps, so it's pretty cool. You could use all of these, and they're very nice and fun and also just cool, like this grid. This would have been great because recently I made an art and I had to find um, a PNG of a grid, and it's just very helpful now that we have all of these items. So as you can see here, to get access to all of these filters, you do have to get a membership, 3 bucks a month, um, and it does give you a lot of other features besides just these filters. But honestly, you can totally make do without it. It's not something that you need to have, because you have plenty of access to all this other stuff without that. The last thing I'm going to show you today is a sort of reverse bucket effect. Here I have a picture of balloons. I'm going to go to my layers, and I'm going to change the background to transparent. Then, I'm going to go to Buckets, and I'm going to change it to the Eraser. Now this is going to work just like a normal eraser, except instead of painting it all, it's going to erase it. The grid you can see in the background shows that this would be a PNG, a transparent in those places. I'll show you what I mean in a second. When you save it, be sure to save it as a transparent PNG. Now let's go back to my gallery, and I'm going to show you what I mean by creating another piece of art. All I'm doing here is using the bucket tool to fill in the background to show you how this works. So I'm going to go find the art that I just made with the transparent background. And if I put it in, you can see it doesn't have a background anymore, which is pretty cool. Um, a lot of apps out there do this, but you need an individual app to do this. And with this feature, you just can do it in your own Nibis Paint app. If you like the music in today's video, please go to the description of this video because there are links to the artist who made this music and he has lots of great music. You should definitely check it out. Thanks for watching today's video. If you have any questions about this, just be sure to comment and I'll reply as soon as I can.